welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm in a different place of the house and that is because I'm going to be doing the long awaited second part of my candle making video. I know so many of you loved that video and I've had so many new subscribers, so hi if you are from that video. But yeah, so that is what I'll be doing today. I'm really excited to obviously do another video like this. I really enjoyed last time um, creating the candles that I did and I haven't done it since that video so hopefully my technique hasn't got worse or I do and I actually remember how to do it but yeah before I do get into this video I do want to quickly show you some pieces that I have been kindly gifted from Ana Luisa you know that I've worked with them in the past I worked with them a few videos ago and currently they are holding their biggest sale ever um, I will leave all the details down in the description down below and obviously my link to their website but I have got some pieces that I'm actually wearing right now so this one is one of the ones that they sent me this is actually also from Ana Luisa as well but they have just got the most gorgeous pieces and they're so so nice for gifts for Christmas, for birthdays, if you want to get your mum something, your sister, anything. Um, I have also got these earrings here in my ears. This one is also from Anna Luisa too. I'm just like kitted out to the high heavens of with um, jewellery. I also did get these earrings too, just look like so. They actually do match this bracelet here that I got last time. Um, but yeah, these are so cute. They do the most gorgeous gold jewellery ever and they also come in these little pouches here. So they come really, really nicely packaged. Um, everything is like made from 100% recyclable um, products. So obviously everything is really environmentally friendly. But yeah, so if you are looking for last minute gifts or anything or even if you've got birthdays coming up in like the new year and things then definitely get yourself over there or if you just want to treat yourself because they do some amazing pieces and I absolutely love all of mine. So yeah, definitely make sure you check out Ana Luisa and uh, and yeah, you definitely will not be disappointed. Anyway, I'm going to get on to this video now. Um, I'm going to show you the different bits that I've got planned for today and what candles I want to be making. Um, and yeah, so if you do enjoy, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe down below if you haven't already. Make sure you go follow me over on my social medias. And without further ado, let's get on into the video. So from the last video, you'd see that my kitchen has changed a lot since then. So we've had the kitchen all redone. Um, so it's really, really nice and bright now, um, and it's it's just lovely. And we've got an island as well to work on, which is really nice. So I have had to get some newspaper, of course, just to protect the surfaces, because my mum will absolutely kill me, and my stepdad too, of course, uh, if I get wax on the countertops. So I do not want to be like getting uh, told off at any point today so that is why I've got that. Also I've got my soy wax here which I'm going to be using for the candles. I just use um, ones that I get off Amazon. Uh, this one is, what is this one? I don't think actually I'll be using this one today because this is the one that, um, that gets all of the like air bubbles and everything in. So I don't think I'm going to be using that one. I think I'm going to be using this one, which is the Mold Master Premium Pillar Soy Wax Pellets. Um, I got, I, I was recommended to use Pillar Soy Wax. I, I like using soy wax because it's a really, really nice soft wax. But the Pillar Soy Wax is the best one for like candle molds, like your body candle molds and oh, and your bubble candle molds as well because. It just holds the shape better. Also, I have got my colours. So I have got these colours here, which are the 18 colours candle dye. They're just like little chips of dye. Um, they just look like so. And actually, they worked really, really well last time. So I think I probably will I'll mainly use those this time. These ones here are the, the Mika powder, which I didn't actually use last time. But I did want, I, I think I do want to have a go at using them this time. Right, so I have got my moulds all clean. Some of them, are, it's just a bit hit and miss. So basically, I should have cleaned these beforehand. So that's my fault. But I have tried to clean this. And because it's silicone and it's so sticky, there's like loads of little black 
like bits of fluff and things on them so I don't think this one's going to turn out very well but I'm going to do it anyway because why not um, I have cleaned the other one out there but it's just not going to be dry inside and I don't know how else to like dry them I'm just going to try try that one anyway it might still be a bit wet inside who knows but yeah so I'm going to do a body one and I'm going to just do that the normal colour of the soy wax like a creamy colour because I really like the look of that I'm going to do a little bubble candle and I think I want to do that in a like lilac -y, really light purple colour. Hopefully it will turn out that way. I'm also going to do the Christmas tree wax moulds and a cactus wax, like a cactus mould as well. And I want to do that in this like Mika pigment emerald green colour because it's like a really nice shiny green. I think that will look really pretty if it works. First off, I'm going to do the body candle because obviously I just want that, the normal colour of the wax. And I don't need to add any pigment or colour colorant to that one. So yeah, that's the one that I'm going to do first. So there's all of the wax in there. Obviously that will melt down to like hardly anything you don't realize how like much wax you actually need but yeah that won't that won't like equate to a lot i don't think i might need to add a little bit more into there once um it's like all melted down so i'm just going to pop that into the water and then turn the heat up just so then it starts to melt While that is boiling on there i'm gonna pop the wicks into the molds So for scents of my candles, I normally use this scent here because it just smells so good and it's a vanilla, it's a vanilla oil scent. Um, but yeah, it is so, so nice. Looks like it's leaked a little bit actually in the box, but it smells amazing. So I'm going to uh, use that one. Yeah, it really looks like it's leaked a lot. Oops. But yeah, this is the one that I am gonna use. For majority, I think for all of them, I might even, I might use like a different one for the wax melts and the cactus maybe, because I have got some really nice smelling ones, but this one is my favourite because you can just smell it all the time and it lasts for ages. It is what the wax is looking like now, I'm not going to put you too close because you probably steam up the camera, but as you can see it has melted down quite a bit. So I'm now going to test the temperature of the wax because it is all melted. Obviously this is just a rough guide because it is still over the hob which is obviously heated. Um, but we are over 65 degrees now which is really really good so that means I can add my colour and my fragrance as well. So yeah we are at 69 69.8 70 so yeah this is the perfect temperature now to add my color and my fragrance so i always add that at around 60 to 70 degrees so i'm gonna just quickly turn the heat off just for now um while it's at that temperature i'm gonna just keep that in there and add the oil so the oil is just here, if I can actually get the lid off of it. There we go. So I'm just going to add about that much of oil. I never really tend to um, measure out how much I use. Um, obviously with this one, I'm not actually adding any colour because it's for the body candle and i just want that to be the plain creamy wax color so yeah so the heat is still off as you can see it is smoking quite a bit and we're at 78.2 um so i'm just gonna take that out of the pot i need to get some 
um, oven gloves actually. Let me just use this. So what I'm gonna do is take the pan over here and I'm gonna take this out of and wait for that to cool down because whenever you get or buy any wax it should actually say the melting point and the pouring point of the wax on here so the pouring point of this wax is actually 50 to 70 degrees so i'm gonna i'm gonna wait until it gets down to probably about 70 because it's still on 78 at the minute so it's a bit too hot to pour just yet um so obviously the fragrance is in there and everything i'm just gonna wait for it to cool down a little bit first and then I will pour it into the mold. So the wax is now at 70 degrees, so I'm just gonna take this out and start pouring my wax into the mold. So that is that done and I have still got quite a bit of wax left over so I've popped that back in there and I'm just going to add a little bit more wax so I've actually decided once this has melted I'm going to do my one of my bubble candle my big bubble candle and then my small bubble candle i want to do this one like a light brown and then this one the dark like a darker brown and then obviously they can both sit together because i think that looks really nice and they contrast nice together so what i'll do now for this is i'll put a little bit of color into the wax um obviously get that to the color that i want it to be pour it into this mold and then i'll then put the wax back onto the heat put some more colour into it to make it a little bit darker and then obviously once it's ready to pour I'll pop it into this mould. So that is how I'm going to do that and that's what I want to do with these two. Right, the wax is at pouring temperature now. That didn't pour as perfectly as I would have liked it to. It looks darker on camera than it is in real life. But yeah, so I'm now gonna pop this back on, heat it again, and then I will pour the rest of the wax into here. Right, the last one is done now. Um, I've decided that I'm only doing one bubble candle, a big one, because oh, it just takes so long. I forgot how long it actually takes. But I've made quite a few, which is good. So let me just quickly show you what I've done so far. So here we have the big bubble candle. As you can see, it's a lot darker than the small one. The small one kind of looks like a peachy orangey color, actually. But, oh well, it, I'm sure it'll still be nice. Here is the body candle. It is, like, near enough all dried now. But they do say that they recommend, like, wait, waiting, like, 12 hours. So, I'll probably just do the unveiling of them tomorrow. Um, I did have a little bit left of this colour wax left. So, I did pour it into these moulds here just to make some, like, little wax melts that I can put in my wax burners. Um, just so then I didn't waste any wax and then this is the colour here of the Mika powder that I used which was that one there, the emerald colour how gorgeous is this? I've not used these Mika powders before in the candle so I'm really really intrigued to find out what they're going to be like 
but look how nice that looks so that is what is going to be going into the cactus mold and then also the christmas tree mold as well but yeah so i'm excited to find out what these this actually looks like once it's obviously dried and everything but yeah they were they are going to be the candles that i'm going to make today um i will get back to you when it is time to pour this at the minute it's still quite a high temperature as you can see it's at 87.6 so i'm going to wait until it gets to about 65 70 until i pour it so i've moved all of the candles gently over to this side while well, i've tried to this one looks like it's kind of sinking in the middle don't know if you can see that if you can like see the like little white line around it but because it's on the bottom that shouldn't really matter this one is still really really wet like inside so it kind of did crack a little bit but it's okay because that is on the bottom as well so fingers crossed it didn't do any damage to the inside of it and um, these ones are absolutely fine this one is looking really really good um, so fingers crossed that one that turns out really good as well so yeah it is now time to pour the uh, Christmas tree wax melts and the cactus with this gorgeous gorgeous green color I have moved them all over to this side because I'm doing it in my kitchen and I was doing it on the island which is obviously in the center of the kitchen so I needed to move them out of the way but so yeah we're gonna pour the cactus one first Fingers crossed this colour comes out really, really nicely because it's so gorgeous. Smells really, really good as well. So there we go. There's that one poured. It looks so cool. And then now I'm going to pour these Christmas tree ones. Perfect. Oh my god, like it moves. It's really, really. Don't know if you can see them moving. I love, love, love the colours. But yeah, so that is my candles for now. I'm going to let them all set for a few hours. I may come back later and obviously get them out, or it may be tomorrow. We'll soon see. But yeah, I will check back in with you when we can obviously have a look at them and demold them. Hey everyone, so it is the next day now. So I can definitely fully demold these. So I, that's what I'm gonna do. I've got my Christmas trees here, the cactus here, big bubble mold, little bubble mold. These two little wax melts that I did with the leftover wax and then obviously my full woman body mold. So yeah, I'm actually really excited. Here are the candles that obviously I made last time. So I just left them down here as well with everything else. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is look at these Christmas trees. The color looks really, really nice. Oh, and they're actually, oh, they smell so good as well. So here is the little Christmas tree. Don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but it's got actually like sparkles on it. Don't know if you can see that. But it is actually sparkly. I love that. I'm glad I picked that color. It's come out lighter than what I thought as well. So there is all three of those. They've turned out really, really nicely and smell insane. So I love those. Oh, put it in the wrong way. So that's that one. Then I'm gonna have a look at these. Oh yeah, so there is one. How cute is that? Smells really good again, love it. And then this one, oh, oh, this one has failed a little bit. It looks like all of the oil has like sunken to the bottom. I think this was the one that I poured last. So yeah, it looks like all the scent of the oil has like poured to that one side and the color in it as well. Because if you can, Little focus as you can see it's all like speckledy here so it's like everything obviously was at the bottom of the jug but it's okay I will still burn that because otherwise it'll be a waste so I'm just gonna keep it in there for now 
Um, what should we do next? The little bubble? I love this, this is so satisfying. It has got a few speckles on the top as well, if you can see that, but I actually really like it. Makes it look like a coffee bean type of candle, but I actually really like the speckles. That'll be from the colour the color chips. Um, sometimes they don't like melt all the way, but that's okay, I actually really like it. I think it makes it look different and it's unique. This one's got speckles as well, which is actually cute because it will match my little candle. And I did do this one a little bit darker, as you can see, it is a tiny bit darker. I don't know if you can actually see that on the camera. But yeah, it is a little bit darker, but um, like the tiniest bit. I probably could have added some more in. But there is the speckles on the top as well. And the little wick, I need to just trim this wick out of there. But yeah, as you can see, it's like cracked here. And then like cracked all the way here as well. And all the way around the bottom half. But I think it's still together. So to be honest, I can just display it this way because you can't actually see it. But there's my little bubbles. There we go. You can kind of see the colour difference now better. This one's lighter and this one's darker. But yeah, love those. So I'm a bit gutted about that it's like cracked. But oh well, it's fine. Doesn't matter. This is going to be like really hard. I struggled with this last time, but I got it out in one piece, which I was so happy about. But last time I didn't have the fact that I had these really, really long nails. How cute are my nails, by the way, guys? Christmas nails, if they were going to focus. Are they going to focus? There we go. Christmassy nails. There we go. Oh my god, that is so cute. So here is the little cactus. Obviously, I need to trim the wicks and everything, but that is the most adorable little thing. I love that mold so much. Oh. That is so cute. It's actually turned out really nicely. So that is my A Woman Body Candle. It's the one with the really sticky out bottom. If it's gonna focus, it keeps focusing on the things in the background more. So there is the Woman Body Candle. That is so, so cute. I love it. So that is it for today's video guys. I really do hope you enjoyed it. I can't actually pick which ones. I, mm, I don't know which one my favourite is. I think I'm going to have to say the cactus. The cactus is my favourite because it's just so bloody cute. I love it. Um, but yeah, that is it for today's video. I really do hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you want me to do another one because I'll be happy to do so. I'll probably like include it in a vlog or something because um, I know you guys loved my first video. Also, if you want me to try any other like colour, like colour, colours with candles, I can do like little ombres again. Obviously, this isn't quite an ombre um, because the, the darkest brown should have been at the bottom. But I could like do ombre candles, um, any other type of colour candles. I could buy some more moulds to do different ones. Obviously this time I did want to do a little bit of something Christmassy. So I made the Christmas tree wax melts which I'm really excited to burn. If you did enjoy, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Make sure you go follow me over on my social medias. Also, please make sure you check that link in the description for Ana Luisa. Their jewellery is just amazing. I can't rave about them enough. I slept in these last night. Excuse the close-up of my face. Really don't like that. Um, but yeah, I slept in these last night. Perfect. Like, you can't even feel that they're in your ears. Um, also, I slept in the bracelets. I keep these bracelets on 24-7. I shower in them, which probably I shouldn't do but they still don't like lose their colour. You know like some jewellery does. 
Um, so yeah, I, I just love their jewellery so much and I rave about it all the time and there is a reason that I rave about it all the time. But yeah, make sure you go check out that link in the description box and um, all the details will be there for you. Thank you so much to Anna Louisa for working with me on today's video. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!